As we round out our coverage of Conference USA Media Day from Dallas, Texas, we take a look now at the Roadrunners of UTSA from San Antonio and their head coach, Larry Coker. Larry, congratulations on an incredible year last season. Had to be exciting for you. Well, very exciting, and uh, since we're excited about this year getting started, and like everybody, it won't be long. It won't be long. Let's introduce the players. First of all, Scott Inskeep. He's a senior offensive guard. Tried to convince me he was a wide receiver. I didn't believe it. <laughs> also, Tristan Wade, <laughs> the senior safety, also joining yes, us. Hey. Gentlemen, I'll get to you in just a minute. First of all, Coach, 7-5 and five last year, 6-2 and two in Conference USA. You won your final five games of the year. You were this close to playing in the title game. How special was last season? Well, it was special. Like uh, our guys did a great job. They really, you know, when you when you lose some games early, sometimes you lose your focus. But <clears throat> our guys re rebounded, won the last five, and and we're close. I think it's just, it's kind of that carrot now. They had that carrot right in front of us. So we're close last year. I think we know what we have a chance to do this year. Well, this year you have a chance to go to a bowl. Last year right. there had to be a bunch of different scenarios before you can go to a bowl. But this year you have that. But also with that come the expectations. People of San Antonio have really taken to UTSA football. How do you temper those expectations? Well, I don't know that I want to temper them. I want, I want the best for these guys. It's my excitement and goal for them <clears throat> is to go to a bowl game, have a chance to win a bowl game. And uh, you realize we've got a lot of games to win, some tough competition. Mm -hmm. Our first three games are really tough, or two of those on the road. But, you know, again, we have a good football team coming back. We expect to play well. We expect to be, play at a high level. I tell you, when you go to the Alamo Dome, and I've done basketball games in there, yeah. it can get extremely loud. You averaged 29,000 fans a game last season. Did you ever think you'd have that in San Antonio? Yeah, I, I didn't know. And But I, I say this, we just kind of scratched the surface of what San Antonio can, can be. And, again, I meet these guys in a minute, but the <coughs> players and their teammates have done such a great job. And I think the city and the university have really uh, rallied around them. And, and uh, of course, football in Texas is big. <laughs> and we're the only Division One team in, uh, in San Antonio. And, of course, playing in the Alamo Dome is a great place to play. We've got 30,000 students, the sixth largest city in the country. And we've got good football players. Absolutely. Let's talk about the team a little bit because one of the numbers that stands out, you didn't force a lot of turnovers last year, only 14 turnovers. Has that been a point of emphasis as far as the defense is concerned? Well, it certainly will be because we played good defense last year, but we've got to create turnovers and uh, give our offense a short field. Uh, so I think that's something we've really got to stress and we, we work on it, but again, it's got to really come to fruition this year. But again, teams are good teams and they, they work on protecting the football also as we do. Let's talk about offense because you're losing your quarterback, Eric Sosa, who was outstanding, but he was mainly outstanding, I think, in the red zone. He was so dangerous in that, mm -hmm. that part. How do you duplicate what he did? Well, we'll be a little different uh, quarterback this year. Tucker Carter is uh, probably not as good a runner as Eric was, uh, probably a better passer. And I think the thing we've got to do, it's not on, on his shoulders, it's got to be on all of us. You know, we've got to make him look better. We've got to play good defense. We've got to, play, we've got to protect him on offense. And I look at Scott when I say that, but I think the thing <laughs> with, uh, with uh, Tucker, uh, it's his time. It's his yeah. time. He's really worked for it. He's prepared for it. And I think more than that, I think our players really believe in him. Well, the fact that you do have a new quarterback, but you have all five starters back on the offensive line. That seems to take a little pressure off that quarterback. Well, it needs to, and I think we have some really good offensive <clears throat> line, and that's exciting to have those guys back. That's a hard position to play. If you can run fast and jump high and catch balls, you can play wide receiver, <laughs> but playing the offensive line, all those things that you see, uh, it's, it's difficult. But I think we have a good group there. The thing we've got to do now is build some guys behind them, get them ready to play also. Well, let's talk about the offensive line. Scott, <laughs> you and I were talking before we started all this, and I said, if my stats are correct, you, your offensive line did not have a holding penalty all of last season. That's true. Uh, Coach Marshall's done a great job coaching us up uh, technique-wise, hands inside. We all do a great job. We follow that. We also got a bunch of experience. I mean, the first year, that probably wouldn't have been the same story. I'm sure we had plenty of holding then. But <laughs> now, now we're, we're a little bit older, a little bit more mature, and we just play the game. In fact, I think they've only had one holding penalty in two years, and I'm not going to say who that holding penalty was against two years ago. <laughs> I think it was me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was but me you against fell. Latte. You fell, though. No, you <laughs> fell. We'll, we'll, we'll cut you some slack. When you came to UTSA, and I lived there for 13 years, did you ever think it would be this big football? Uh, no. Uh, we came here basically just ready to establish this program, and the way it's just what taken off. What your attention? Why, huh? why go there? Uh, just because, like, at the same time, we, we were, uh, I mean, when we're older, we're going to get to look back at this and be like, we created this, we started this. Uh, we get to start the, all the trends and everything. And when we got here, I mean, I couldn't tell you in four years this is where we'd be. I'd be standing in front of this camera instead of, <laughs> you know, somewhere else just playing football game. But uh, 
It's just been great. We've been taken off. The fans have really welcomed us. We, they've accepted us into the community. We get as, so much support, and it, I couldn't be any more grateful. One more quick little accolade about him. 61 pancake blocks last year. Not too yeah. shabby, buddy. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> How many you want this year? I'll, above 61. <laughs> above 61 would be good. Just set the bar just kind of nudge it up, right? And also, you were an outstanding high school wrestler, I understand. Uh, yeah, I did all right. You did all right. I did all right. <laughs> he was. He was an outstanding wrestler. And uh, it's a great signee out of McAllen, Texas. He's a, a South Texas guy, and uh, we'd like to own South Texas. I, I'll tell you what, you keep winning, you probably will. <laughs> Let's talk to Tristan Wade. Second team All-Conference USA last uh, season. First team preseason this year by one publication, Conference USA. In your wildest imagination, did you ever think UTSA would be where it is at this point? Uh, I mean, that's why I came here. So, I mean, I didn't know he was going to get this uh, big as of now. So... That's it. <laughs> well, you had uh, two interceptions last year, three double-digit tackle games. The defense was outstanding last season. Yeah. What's the goal this year? Be a lot more better and get uh, more turnovers. I mean, we didn't get that many as, as we thought we would, but, I mean, we're going to get better on that. Have you focused on it yourself personally? Oh, yes, sir, a lot. In what way? Did, in the spring practice? Uh, yes, sir, spring practice. I mean, I'm right now in the summertime I'm trying to – get better on my craft, you know, working on the small things like my uh, footwork, mm -hmm. not rounding, stuff like that. So we're going to see. It'll be a long year. Now, Coach, last year you were picked to finish last in Conference USA. Surprised everybody. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised how far uh, how far UTSA is right now in the FBS? Well, <clears throat> not totally surprised because I'm around these guys every day. I know what type of talent we have. And, and I guess uh, you'd like to say, well, we're not very good, but so I'm a great coach. But we've got good players. And uh, that's the thing's exciting about what we have. So a surprise, no, uh, it's a it's a battle every week. And the thing, these guys have really been hungry to really go out and excel and work hard in practice. They've had a great summer this summer. I think they can tell you that. Our strength coaches can tell you that. They'll be in great condition. They're, we're bigger. We're stronger. And uh, they don't they don't don't miss. They're not late. Uh, all those little things that make make right. a difference. Let's talk about defense. One final question because I thought this was very impressive. UTSA last year, they allowed just six rush plays of plus 20 yards. Only Wisconsin with four, Alabama with five, had less. Well, that's huge because that's one thing. You, you, you can't give up big plays. You give up big plays on defense, you're probably not going to win. And we've got to do a better job on offense of creating big plays and, again, stopping the big plays on defense. But our defense has done a great job. Neil Nethery, our, our defensive coordinator, plus our, our defensive staff, uh, have just done a terrific job with our defensive football team. All right, Larry, congratulations to you. Lynn Hickey, athletic director, and everybody for starting UTSA football has come a long way. Well, I can't say enough about Lynn Hickey. This was kind of Absolutely. her vision, and I'm just, I, the train was moving. I jumped on the train. Didn't get off. <laughs> well, it was, it was a great hire there, I can tell you. Thank you, gentlemen. No Best Thank of luck you. this season. Look forward to seeing you during the year. More after this. <laughs>